Hello, it's Winston again, and I want <coughs> to uh, take you on a little book tour. I like to read. That's nothing unusual. A lot of people like to read. Uh, but I read some <coughs> uh, a whole series of books, uh, and I've become fascinated with them. And I want to tell you kind of how they've redirected my life. So you think I'm fixing to pull up the Bible. No. The Bible is in a separate thing. It's a totally spiritual. Uh, I'd, if I had to say it, I'd say these are anti-spiritual. Uh, not in their self. <clears throat> uh, science is very spiritual. It's made by God. And it is God. Uh, it has everything is part of God. But, uh, I want to talk about this fellow right here. You recognize him? Mm, looks a lot like me, don't he? <laughs> Mr. Einstein. This book has uh, roughly 700 pages in it, and it talks about him a lot. And it's a it's a biography wrote, written by Walter Isaacson. I read it. One time, page by page, and been back to it several times, just plundering around looking for different ideas and things. Uh, <clears throat> if you know anything about Einstein, and I'm sure you know as much as I do, but he did a his whole thing was a thing called relativity. And this is another book about relativity, and that's the author. He wrote it himself to uh, help the. Uh, I don't want to say the average person understand it, but it was for the person like that was going to college, that, that was able to go to college, but not necessarily a scientist. Uh, and to be honest with you, it's not really under, easy for me to understand. <clears throat> this is another book. Now, this is Simply Einstein, Relativity Demystified. Uh, and then I have another book here that I want to talk about a little bit. And uh, it's Uncommon Descent. I have several more books. But these, this one right here is, uh, I think it's 16 different essays written by intellectuals uh, refuting uh, Darwinism or uh, evolution. But I want to say at the same time that every one of these people believe in evolution. They just don't believe that man comes from monkey. And neither does the scientific trail indicate that, to my beliefs. So these, these and many more books, is, so this tie is, has got me rambling. And then as a result of all of it, I started off really having a high opinion of Mr. Einstein. I found out <clears throat> that Mr. Einstein married a girl that was in his class. She was, she must have had a limp or something. Anyway, I get that they preached her that she was crippled. Very smart. They had two children. Those two children were, uh, uh, mentally unstable. I'm not, they're not wanting crazy by no means. But anyway, they were in the mental institutions. So the good old man, you can easily see where he'd become a father of the modern world order. Uh, he just left them and his wife, and guess who he went off and married, and lived with for a while, and married. That was his first cousin. And uh, where he actually slept with his first cousin and wife's daughter or not, uh, it, it doesn't say for sure, but the letters that he wrote back and forth indicate at least he attempted to. When he came to the United States, he uh, insisted on having his boy mathematician kept with him. It doesn't allude anywhere at all in there that that was any kind of sexual relationship, so I don't know about that. But this guy did all of his great works starting at uh, 1905, I think is when it was. Anyway, it was in the early 19th century. And, uh, and then after that, he stayed around these universities and talked about a borderless, one-world government, 
to where you rode a mule back and forth and all this kind of stuff. Now he didn't use the word mule. But that's why that I want to get him, George Washington, credit for being the father of our nation as it was. And uh, Einstein to be the scoundrel that influenced uh, the one world order and the things that's coming up now. John Ranking, I believe is his name, uh, he was a Republican in the Senate. Uh, he stood up before the Senate one time and said, when are we going to stop listening to this communist? And while there's always technical differences between communism and socialism and all this other kind of stuff, uh, he wanted the people to leave God out, leave the borders out, and uh, just have a little happy life. That's what his whole thing was. So there's just a start of where I'm coming from.